Get ready. It's time. Christina, Catherine, Lisa, Amy, and Lauren. Welcome to the Cimarelli Podcast. Hey. Hey. Hey, I'm Christina. I'm Catherine. I'm Lisa. I'm Amy. I'm Lauren. And, and we're, we're Cimarelli. Cimarelli. Welcome back to the Cimarelli Podcast. Oh, love it. Thank love you. It. Thank Yeehaw. you. Yeehaw. Guys, I'm a little cold today. Christina's a little hot. It's going to be a bumpy ride. I'm so hot It definitely hot is. And I'm a little tight. <laughs> Everyone's a little... Yeah, we're sleep, I'm a little sleep deprived. I'm unfortunately running on adrenaline, which is not healthy. So I feel fine, <laughs> but I know I'm not. <laughs> but I actually feel oh, no. good, but it's fake. So. Um, Just enjoy it for now. Mm, yeah. good and then relax. Is this our highs and lows? I feel like this is our highs and lows. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get, get there. We should just, just call, a, that, just just call this our highs and lows. No, no, yeah. this is just a little preview. So, so today... It's episode 142, <laughs> and we are recapping our highlights of the year, right? Yeah. We're yeah. recapping our year, not necessarily like in highlight, low light format. We're just kind of commenting, <laughs> just right? Just commenting We're just kind of year. going over it, Reflecting. you know? Reflecting. Review. Reflecting. Year reviewing. God, I saw this TikTok, and it was like, ever since 2020, I haven't had a year where I was like, what just happened? And I agree. Wait. Every year I you get to where I end. wasn't like. Yeah. Oh. But you usually end and you're like, what just happened? This I think year? that's just adulthood. So. Let's be real. I don't think this, this year. This year is definitely a what just happened. Wait, it is? Um, I think yes. it's more like Partially. there's just life pre-2020 and life post where yeah. pre-2020, there was some unrest in the world, <laughs> but you still had some peace and now yeah. there is no peace. That's I the agree. difference. You'll remember later. You'll remember later. We're just in a new era. <laughs> okay, anyway. anyway. You've been pregnant twice since 2020. So, or no, three, no, three times okay, okay, okay. involving, okay. including well, Georgia. maybe one thing. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. Okay. Anyway. So, so you guys have heard us talk about Green Chef many a time. You guys love him. We love him. We got to tell you if you don't know. If you get stressed out when you're like, what do I make for dinner? Mm. You don't like grocery shopping. You don't like measuring everything and trying to figure out how to get this meal to not be trash. What do I even pick? We have the solution for you, and we have a special deal for you, so you're going to want to hear it. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company, an organic meal kit company, and they send you this great green box, all of the ingredients for the meals, already measured, put together perfectly. They take all the stress out of it. It's so convenient, and all you got to do is just cook it right there. No no measuring, no thinking, no guessing, no wondering, no crying. No crying. No crying. It is so. I have cried before. It is so great. From then. And how good are the meals? We can tell you. <laughs> They're like restaurant. Meals. Literally, literally so good. So, oh my gosh, I still dream about the what is it? The rosemary the truffle. truffle. Oh, oh my oh, gosh, so never forget every single oh. one. Top tier. I don't know how they do it. Every single so one. So good. Yeah, it's like how did I suddenly become. A restaurant chef. Master Don't chef. know. Don't know. But suddenly I work at a restaurant because every time I make it, I'm like, Nick, this tastes like a restaurant, doesn't oh, it? So good. I just love it so much. So if you went in on this, you want to try this out, you want to take the stress out of your meal planning, go to greenchef.com slash Simrally60 and use code Simrally60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Try it out. See if you love it. Use our code. Get the deal. You're going to have some amazing meals and some stress-free preparation. One thing to just take off off your shoulders, off mm-hmm. your mind. You deserve it. You don't need to stress all the time. Like, well, I do this. I'm like, does everyone stress <laughs> about meals as much as I do? I so right go now. to <laughs> greenchef.com slash Simarelli60. Use code Simarelli60 for 60% off plus free shipping. And you know what? Speaking of stress. Oof. Sometimes you just need some extra help, right? You do. With that stress in your life. You and do. what could you do? You know, how about what we talk about all the time for years? Therapy. But finding a therapist can be stressful. It's like, how do I even find them? Oh, it's so stressful. How do I find like the right type for me? Where do I go? What do I do? And then, you know, like, what if I don't like them? What do I do? Well, hold on a second. We have the exact answer for you, the solution. Better Help. This episode is sponsored by Better Help. It's online therapy. You filled this questionnaire, which we did check out. It was great, detailed, love it. Fill the questionnaire and it helps match you with a therapist to help you out with your problems, whatever it is in your life, personal growth. You got some 
deep, dark things. You got some stressful things, confusing things, whatever it is. There's someone out there to help you. And we really strongly believe in therapy. And I think this is a great, great solution to how difficult it can be to find therapy because you go there, you get connected. And if you don't like the person, Mm. you just switch. Boom. Done. You're not stuck. You don't have to have the awkward breakup with your therapist. You just switch, find someone else. And I've had to do that um, in my life with therapy. Um, I've had therapists where it's like, not so good, you know, just not it. And I switch. Sometimes I switch multiple times until I find the right person. Because if you have a problem, you don't give up on you. You need yeah. You need to keep going. You have to live with yourself every day. You got to keep going. You got to find that right person. They're going to help you. Therapy can be just absolutely life-changing. And you deserve to find the answers to the questions you're looking for. You deserve to find some solutions to these stressful things in life. So here we have a little deal for you. Go to betterhelp.com slash Cimarelli today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Cimarelli. If you were thinking like, I really want to try therapy, now's your chance. Use our deal here, betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Cimarelli and check it out. Linked in the description. You deserve to find the help that you need and hopefully they're going to help you out with that. Good luck, guys. Let's go, but yeah, let's get the highs and lows. <laughs> okay, let me guess first. first. Low. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep. No, no, I no, didn't no. Sleep. No, no, no. Us three. <laughs> All right. That's our lows. It was a high turned low. Oh, I hate no. that. A low turned high is great. Oh, a high turned low is good. Yes. Oh, no. But look, it didn't ruin my high. My high okay. was last night I went to, if you know anything about oh, Nashville, it's called Cheekwood. Oh, it's a mansion, a botanical I garden. I went so there. So pretty. So I took a couple friends. It's Christmas lights. Yes. It's well, it's a botanical garden. Yes. And, and they, then yeah. they, yeah. they light they all the trees, it. and there's it a mansion. Magical. Let me tell. It's a mansion. <laughs> it was from built in 1929. It's beautiful, whatever. Mm. Did a whole Christmas lights tour outside. It was so gorgeous. It was cold, but you know, I can really see way. being a tour guide. It was really fun. <laughs> I would love like, that. I would love that. Like, you have that. It's so, like, yes. so we had about this building. Yes. <laughs> we had a great night. It was so fun. But then, literally, the car ride home, Lily just. Ew. Oh. All, While you were driving? Yes. Oh, driving. No. She threw up all oh, over no. herself. It was Lily, so sad. I feel Poor you. Girl. I thought about that. And driving. then we're like, ah, pull over. And Chad's like ripping her out of the car and like, ah, and we're cleaning everything. And then, oh. again, it happened at home. <gasps> Try not to like graphically yeah, yeah, yeah. so people yeah. are sensitive Up but I am. as you said basically <laughs> she vamoose yes and it was a stressful <laughs> night because oh. you're like is it a food allergy is it a stomach bug you're trying to rule things out yeah. they do have the same treatment i learned at the hospital but oh, really? luckily we had anti-nausea meds for her but whatever so i was up till almost three in the morning oh no great uh, that's rough oh a high that was low. my low I so see, yeah it was a high turned low the low was the stressful mm. evening we had. That is sad. She I enjoyed so your Instagram cute. story, though. Thank you. It was still fun. I wouldn't take it back. I had an amazing night. I, I just wish it. that she didn't get sick. Yeah. yeah. That's sad. Okay, Where I'll do you? my... Spoiler alert. I already said it. Okay, so let me just make it short and sweet. Okay. Low. Okay. My current sleep schedule has a problem. Even though Tristan's a good sleeper, here's the problem. Mm. I You're go not to a bed. good sleeper? No. I go to bed <laughs> whenever... I wake up when at three or two. Mm. She wakes up at like four. So uh, normally I'm like, she wakes. Oh, wake. I, I think I'm just going to feed her when I wake up now. I think that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be like, I don't care if you're up, awake. Though. I'm going to feed you. <laughs> I'm not going to wake her up. I'm just going to start feeding. Yeah, dream feed. Uh, I'm just going to do that. That never works. Lily's such so a light sleeper. I wake her or I. she wakes up. I feed her. I don't fall back asleep till like five. Then I'm up at six. Oh, oh I remember that. It's the worst. So nice. um, excuse me, what? So if I fall asleep at 10, which happened the other night, Whoa. then I wake up. At two or three, mm. and then I get one more hour. What mm. is this? Yeah, that ain't it. Like, hello. So I think I need to fall asleep a lot earlier. Yeah. yeah. While I'm trying to get the schedule better. Yeah. So I'm gonna go do. To bed early. So I'm gonna go to bed with her at seven thirty, which I've been doing a See, lot. This is when I pop a melatonin. I'm doing. Pass out. That's <laughs> not good though. No, because I you do stop it. Stop producing it. <laughs> not in my case. Okay. Not in my case. <laughs> I took it for a month and then I'm off. Okay. And then I take it here and there. It's okay. Yeah, because you're supposed to use it to like treat jet lag, not like a lifestyle. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I use it to <gasps> early my lifestyle. bedtime. Mm, anyway, that. so yeah, my high. <laughs> she is like life <laughs> is a nightmare. High. My high <laughs> what are we is that about? I <laughs> am really excited about the new year. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, I, this is one of my actually. favorite times of year. Actually, not it's weird. Not Christmas right now for some reason. It's just not my fave. Hmm. Last three years, four years. Like what? 
Mm-hmm. But New Year's, I love it. I love reflecting on my year. I love getting excited for my next year. I just and love it's like it. Nick's Everybody birthday, which is that. fun. She says this every year. No, but I hate New Year's. It's the worst holiday. I don't say that. No, no I Catherine said that. and I say that. Mm, I but, but I like that thing that you're talking about. I don't like, I feel like New Year's Eve is such you a like letdown. No, I always fun. sit in my house and eat pizza and watch a show. Like, I don't so do anything. So make plans, woman. There's make nothing. Plans. Everyone's out of Set town. Set fireworks. Get something early. early. Okay. Oh, wait, you have to Just like, yeah. Okay, people, what are your... <laughs> Leave Max What are your highs? Okay, okay, okay. My, I don't really have that much to say. My low is that... My twins both, well, no, Dominic and then both last night did not sleep very well the last two nights. So I didn't get very much sleep, like maybe five, Ooh. five and a half hours each night, oh, God, something like that. Rough. That's my night routine. Yeah. It's so dumb. And I told Max this, like, he's like, oh, you got the same mud as me because he wakes up early. To, but to did you see the, the thing about men and women's sleep? What? what? It doesn't matter if men don't get as much. It really matters if women do. I knew hormone. it. I I'll send it, it to you well, for proof. My thing is that, I'm going to okay. send it right now. I feel like I just sound like a broken record You can show this to Max. But I feel like the thing is with Sleep. It doesn't matter how much, how many hours you got. If they're all broken up, hmm. like this is what I experienced in postpartum. Like if you got five straight, yeah, you'd be better off. That, right, exactly. I feel way different if I get five straight, whereas I got like two and then Ooh, three. And yeah, half. that's not it. And it's like, you wake up and you're just like, why? <laughs> why? That's all I can say. Um, yeah. Honestly, my highlight was Lauren's. Can I say what you did? Yeah. We did like a little um, party for Lauren's. A viewing um, Lauren's oh, album. Oh, that, that was, was so fun. And I was so proud of her. I literally like oh. wanted to cry because I was so it was proud amazing. of her. And it was oh, just oh, great to view some I art. I did tear up like 10 times. <gasps> we love <laughs> art. Oh, Lauren God. did such a crying. great job. Yeah, I was like, am I going to cry right now? I cried Maybe when not. mom and dad hugged. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I legitimately because, cried. I think it's because it's our parents. Yeah, it's my, uh, like, it's funny, my son, probably. my son Leo is sitting on my lap. He's like 15 months now and he's so overwhelmed by people cheering. Every oh. time people cheered at the end of the video, he went, <laughs> Oh, oh, he so bro, he's overwhelmed by I me. I had to take his shirt off because he was sweating. <laughs> oh, my God. It was hot down there. It was hot down there. It was really We were hot. watching in like a, a little mood theater. So it was so fun, though. I it really loved. I loved the art. I loved getting everyone great. together. Like, yeah, that I, was really I gave fun. out some Christmas cookies that I made, which was also fun. They were very well. <laughs> Thank Wait, you. I didn't get one. You didn't get one? I brought oh, them downstairs. burn. I put them in the middle She's of the room. She's trying out a prototype Oh, wait. Cookies. Yeah. You I think I wasn't hungry. Never mind. Oh, okay. Wow. I think I was like, mm. okay, rejected. No, okay. It's okay. They I were didn't... super good, though. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, so anyway. Oh, yeah, and then I made homemade cookies. I tried a new recipe. It was really they good. They gave, like, Uncrustables, cool. but in cookie form. Okay, yeah, it's weird. These cookies looked like, you know, Uncrustables, if you don't know what that is, it's like those peanut butter sandwiches that have the crust cut yes. off. Yes. That's... Isn't that? No, 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 it's no, not no. a cookie. It's a sandwich. No, no, no. Yeah. I know. I'm but skipping the dough forward. was like this super dense, soft dough, and then yeah. you put I put berry jam in the middle, and then yeah. I put um oh. like a glaze on top. Oh, wait, what? It yeah. was pristine. You, you know those you cookies right? that our grandma used try to make these yourself. like? Yes. <sighs> no, no, you didn't want it because you were eating fries. Oh, I didn't want it yet, and then I never got yeah, one. Yeah, because you were like, mm-hmm. I have a different taste. Yeah, yeah. I have I'll, a different I'm gonna make taste. more because I was just taste. testing to see if everyone likes them. I'm gonna make them all for you guys for Christmas. Make more. So anyway, yeah, make more. Wow, well, that was also my high. Aww, that was so Lauren. fun. So proud of you. But I was so nervous. That was my low. Was the day <laughs> the day leading up to it? I was like. <gasps> Do this oh, because I was vulnerable. like, oh my gosh, this is so cringe. It's like reviewing what? my life. Yeah, yeah, it's cringe. It's, it's not, not that cringe. it's actually cringe, but me, I was like, you guys can watch it without me. I don't want to be there. Like it's just so awkward. Like I just too feel like, yeah, it was too vulnerable. It's very vulnerable. And I was like, what if it's actually horrible and I'm d- deaf, dumb, and blind? And I was like, okay, I don't think <laughs> oh so. Oh my god, <laughs> I was just nervous. You, know. you know, it's like I really put my heart and soul yeah. into it so it's just like sharing ew, your art. like i don't want to show everyone my heart and soul it's too awkward no, yeah, yeah, i feel yeah. like i'm you naked great. in front of the crowd okay yes, let's not that say you know that. you really um, <laughs> not to go on and on but you really captured an era like yeah. I, I feel I like it. the feeling of your like the the music videos all together as one thing because it was filmed in summer. It has this like timeless summer energy. Reminds me of Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, and yeah. I was just going to say that. Yeah, like, that's Napoleon so. Dynamite Napoleon has Dynamite. this magical, nostalgic summer vibe. That yeah. was my inspo. Yeah. So, I love that. Thank yeah. you. It was very well. Love that's it. so funny. Um, you did great. Let's see. How do I pick a low? There's so many. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so no. Many. Ooh, when you thought you were sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to this think of some more. Yep. Um, when you were really, really dead tired and you're like, I might. I ever not going to be tired? Oh, yes. you were so oh, when you're mad oh, the other day. I need to rest and I don't mad? get to rest. <laughs> oh, when you had too many oh. plans, you didn't get when to relax. I was trying to watch Vera today. And I was sitting on the couch. Amy was like. <laughs> but you know what? It, because of Amy, remember our cover that you, I don't know if you've seen it yet. 
It probably yeah. is happening now. Yeah. It was possible thanks to Amy. Thank you. Because no. I had to finish all the freaking harmonies. I had to do couch. five harmony parts while Amy was and watching. And do you know what he did? He just anyway. jumped on me. Over. <laughs> he was abused by a two year old. You were just sitting there, yeah, diving on top of me, diving over me, like literally 20 so times. You were just sitting there. <laughs> I don't want to get up. And he's clearly keeping him occupied. <laughs> he took the cushion off the couch, started jumping onto the cushion, and I had to be like, okay. Be careful. See, apparently a thing some tired moms do is they lay on the couch on their stomach and then they play What's on My Back yes. where you lay things on their back and like, hmm, let me guess what it is. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I think it's gosh. a bunny. <laughs> you know, it's a good game. It was so <laughs> funny though. I had this like monster truck show that was teaching them how to count. Like, oh, I guess it's your low? Oh, cute. cute. No, it was, the low was being jumped on. Um. And I was so fragile. But then it was fun because he's cute. What but, was your high? Oh, I don't know. Many things probably in life. <laughs> You know what? You just like, I was happy once. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe my high was last night when after I stressed, I realized that I could just lay for a long time. Mm. It was a great nice. high. It was a cool, horizontal high. Yes. I Did just it? sat there. I just watched TV. <laughs> Did Did everyone, jokes. everyone go? Yep. yep. Okay, here's my first oh. comment before we get into the next part. <clears throat> is every time I'm this tired, then someone comments... Christina was rude, but I wasn't rude <laughs> She's because just rude to of herself. my facial expression. I just sit there like this. She's I literally don't. sitting like this. I need to have the energy to She's be like serving energy. You know, you sit there and you have like a light smile. That's you know when you put your phone in low power mode. When you're like this, when you sit there, when mode. you're listening. Who can do that? Not intentionally. I do. What? It yeah. takes so much energy. I to feel do like that. I just like, say dumb things when I'm tired. I'm like, so listen. <laughs> even though you see this, <laughs> I'm gonna be like this in between. She doesn't. I'm mean not it. mad. This is my natural She's face. Just disappointed. I have to put a lot of energy into the other face <laughs> you normally like, see. This is what a real woman looks like. <laughs> this, this is, is my, my real face. face. It is. <laughs> this is my resting. <laughs> so I'm not. With my face. I'm not trying to. <laughs> Listen like this. Just too much energy. Okay, so that let's go. That looks kind of meaner. That was a little Jennifer Coolidge <laughs> when she's like, "Oh Did you my see face!" She's on the old Navy commercial. I can't move. Yeah, it. It's cool. the she's Botox. Like, can't do motion for another five hours. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I love that. She's commercial. having a renaissance. I yeah, love it. For love her. Jennifer Coolidge. Shout out I to love you. Her. I'm sure queen. she's a podcast listener. So shout out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, <laughs> five perspectives, ladies. I'm pretty sure we've done this one like last year, but we're doing it again. What which is. Do you believe in New Year's resolutions? We definitely did this last year. Do, do I believe okay. they exist? Yes. Stop. Do you practice them? I think is the real thing. No. But I do yearly goals and like I do them more on my birthday for like each age. Mm. And I do like to set an intention for the year, but I don't get super specific of like, I will work out every day or I will stop drinking diet soda or something that's like mm. so like laser focused more like I want to you know build new friendships it's more mm. like could happen anytime it's not a daily practice it's like I hope I want to mm. do this by the end of the year spoiler alert I always do oh I <laughs> never <Me> do too. <laughs> see because it's well, a new no, year's I do like three yeah, I do like th I only do like one to three. I do like ten, but I actually do like three of the ten. And I do it. Oh, and I yeah. pick something where it's like, okay, this feels like the right time for this, and I I want to accomplish this this year. Yeah. So it's not like, hmm, maybe I'll be a, a champion bodybuilder when I hate working out. That's not yeah. gonna happen. Anyway, that's my take. Mm. I love them. I'm an I'm a I stan. Hello. Mm. I'm a stan of New Year's resolutions. I love them. Do them every year. They help me. They I get great ideas. It's like one of my most like mentally like recharged times of the whole year. It's love one of the it. best things ever. I love January. It's but one of my what favorite. What kind months. do you do? Like the ones like I met someone once and they were like, oh yeah, I don't do something something. I'm not eating white flour or something. It's my New Year's resolution. It was September and they were still doing it. Like That's a right. daily thing. Interesting. Well, for me, for me, um, as Lauren has pointed out many times, I really like to switch things up. I don't like to commit to one thing. So no, I kind of switch don't. it up every year. So this year, I'm going to think about what do I want to, what kind of, what way do I want to do them this year? Hmm. And then I'll do it. Wait, so well, you can I do a resolution, do you But I think we're kind of going into this in the next podcast episode. Oh, Preview. Okay. We're talking about mindset shifts we want to make in the new year. Mm, okay, okay. So you'll have to we'll be really. Yeah, I feel like that's more mm, of a deeper. Yeah. Okay, uh, what about you guys? Do you believe in them? Um. Yeah, but again, I don't do something <laughs> that's like, I am going to do this every day. It's like, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. It's more like goals. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd make like 10 and then I actually probably do like three. Hmm. At but least you do better some of than them. none. Yeah. Like one of my goals for this 
past year was to oh, yeah. go to the doctor. Wait, what about do a pull-up? Did you do it? Oh, <laughs> go, Wait, what about the pull-up? I Lauren, didn't do the pull-up. <laughs> Guys, you did I try, actually you did tried try throughout for like almost the whole year <laughs> until like every like, other month. I right? got so exhausted what? and then I broke my foot and I was just like, I can't do this anymore. But <laughs> you I'm not pull giving without up. your foot, I'm telling you. Right now, but no. What if I fall something? off the bar? Yeah, that's you bad. land on your one foot. No, no, no. You do it where you can reach the bar, Christina. So you just pull. I'm just saying, uh, maybe I will. But the point oh is, gosh. I'm still trying. Okay, and I Lord, actually you did better try. Get this pull up. I, I will. Are you I will continue it. it's into 2023. Be my, yeah, I love right. that. Maybe I'm gonna get a it. different plan this year for it. Just say like once a week. You have to try. Just say, <laughs> guys. I think that I can make <laughs> my own plan. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And um, yeah, I will make a different Yeah, plan. maybe for one this year. Just, also, did it work? Just an idea. Speaking of making fun of people, Barrett made fun of me for sneezing today. Oh, I love it. I sneezed and he went, ah, itch. And I was like, excuse me? Why are you making fun of me? Oh my gosh. That's so he funny. He was literally such a little rat. Anyway, um, I don't know. What? Oh I don't like gosh. goals because they're scary. <laughs> oh, I like my gosh. <laughs> I'm more of an age personal New Year kind of person. What? Like you, like a oh your a birthday, next, yeah, birthday yeah, 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 yeah. This personal age. New Year. This age, yeah. no, I love doing that too. I like to both. Yeah. I don't okay. know. But uh, maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll try for this year, even though just because it just like is starting. So I mean, yeah. take a chance. Make a Take change. a risk. Make a change. Make a change. Break away. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I'm way too idealistic for this and it's really bad. <laughs> I used to sit down and be like, oh, what are my goals? I probably do this every year, honestly. And I literally make like four pages of oh, ideal goals. Gosh. I make it's categories. I'm like financially. Socially, emotionally, physically, oh, yeah. I, mentally, I like doing relationally, overhaul. parenthood, home goals. Well, you know what, though? That's just like sitting down and dreaming. I'm like taking stock. <laughs> You're dreaming. I think that's it's, a good thing. It honestly, honestly can no, be good like, to kind of like, but what I think is way more effective for me personally is choosing a word. And I actually have had a lot of success, not, not really success. It's, I feel like it's more of like, hmm. you think of your word throughout the year. And I actually think it's more of a spiritual thing because I pray at the end of the year, God, what is the word you want to be my word of the year? Ooh. And I find it comes true when I pray about it. Last year, at the end of last year, I kept thinking of the word free, like freedom. Mm. And this year I really like spent the most amount of time on with mental health counseling. Reading the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also like working with like a dietitian and like on like feeling my relationship with body image. And I really mm. like, this was a big, I feel like I'm a lot freer. Emancipation of Catherine. Yeah, but I didn't know that was what the word meant. <laughs> so it's kind of a roundabout way of doing a goal. You don't really know what the goal is. It's more like a tone. Okay. Wait, so it, if we know it reveals our, itself. If we know our word for 2023, will we say it in this episode or next episode? Next. Next, because I don't know okay. mine. I don't know mine either. <laughs> I haven't prayed about it yet. I got to do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got to let the Lord. Oh, gosh. And then, All right. yeah. Oh, I, know but I will say is. one year when I was like probably in my early 20s, I always was a baker, but I didn't really know how to cook that I well. Was a baker. I no, was a baker. I I literally <laughs> came out of the womb. No, that's not true. I was a bad baker when I was young. But um I think I became a baker at the age of 15. But I made a New Year's resolution to learn how to cook. A simple goal. Uh, and I learned how to cook that year and I've been like into cooking ever since. So that was the best New Year's resolution. How I ever did made. you do that? Cuz I said, "Okay, 29, I want to learn how to cook." It's already been like 3 months. Okay, but you have another 9, right? I know, well, but that's I just like looked up recipes that looked fun and then just I started up you also you always okay. search Easy. I have to make time is the problem. And you have to find your cooking style. Like yeah. something that actually yeah. works right. for you. You just need to f- prep and figure out like which day to prep on. That's like the ideal Yeah, Monday day. is my cooking day. Yeah, maybe like a Monday or a Friday. Not a Saturday or Sunday. And I'm you gotta, gone. Yeah. yeah. See, gone. that's not going to You have to have a day where you think about it and then a day where you prep it. <sighs> like yeah. I plan things on Fridays a lot and then I what prep, prep on the mean? weekend. Like buy things? Cook. Buy the ingredients. Pick the recipes. Oh. Plan out what day you're you going to do, do it. You can't do that all on one day. You no. got to do it before. I, do that. I, re- I make a meal plan. You See, cook. what I need is someone to come to my house and make me cook for like a week and then I would cook. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, now yeah. we're going to do this at this time. Honestly, if you want it this time, you got to do this. I need like the planning. Green Chef mm-hmm. does teach you how to cook though. No, no, meals. they did. They did. But then as soon as I ran out, I was like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep Top getting. We just took a light intermission, as you can see by my blanket and cookie. <laughs> but we're back. We're just gonna go to the next topic, guys. We're having Bye. some camera issues, so you know. It's a nice truck in the background. <laughs> if you hear that, driving in my truck. Vroom, you need to vroom. open the window because it's hot in here in the middle of winter. Don't 
It's Ask not- me why. Okay, let's keep going. So let's get to the main topic. All right. Main topic. What anyone? is it? I'm excited. All right. So we're doing the year in review. We have this nice list. It's a bit of a surprise to me because I wasn't really there when we made the list. <laughs> hey, I'll say I made the list. I went through our YouTube channel and I was like, ooh, that was a moment. I'll ooh, say that it. was a moment. I so that's that was basically the thinking behind this list. It's in chronological order. So 2022 Top in moments. review. What do we do? I read the moment and then what? Read we the date and then no, no, no. Do the date and then the title and then what? We don't have the dates. Have this was on Jupiter in the year 40,000. <laughs> <laughs> we know it was 2022. <laughs> 42,000 BC. No, I literally went to the beginning of the you know, year. I, I bet Amy knows the, the date, so let's be real. Oh, know. or the month at least. All right, ready? What's first? first thing that happened? Christina is pregnant. This is our first video of the year. Oh, Aww. Tristan! Wait, what video? Oh, February was I not 12. here? What's going on? Where were you? Wait, how was that the Why first video of the that? year? No, no, no. It, it no, was no. just me. I didn't do every single yeah, video that we did. Oh, I did. Okay. It's like the highlights. Yeah, never mind. It's like the first, highlighted the first, videos. No, what was the first video of the year? Amy and Lauren become moms for a day to twins. Oh, that okay. was such a good video. Well, go watch it. it. That was a Nothing. Horrible I just want to say no, that I was where we started. That was a hilarious video and you have to watch it. It was so good. I love it. I Which say, video, guys? Um, I don't think they can hear listen, when she talks from all the way over Lauren, there. Right listen, right listen. Lauren and Amy became mothers to twins. <laughs> it was the first video of the year. It's so funny. Please go watch it. I was literally having the worst day ever, so <laughs> I'm glad it turned out funny. Oh, um, wait. I'm thinking of you guys watching Barrett. That was also hilarious. I don't know the twins one, but the Barrett one was really funny. <laughs> Back to Christina being pregnant. She told us on Christmas. Remember that? <laughs> Both times. That, wow. Oh, that was both times? But not the first time, obviously. Oh, I my gosh. There. We were yeah. conspiracy me theorizing before. Yeah, we were like, on Christmas Eve. I, I thought you were pregnant before you were pregnant. You were just Which moody. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, just a grumpy goose. Myself. That yes. was so exciting. <laughs> Probably just tired. Okay, yeah. so. How did you tell us again this time? Same Barrett way. was she wearing a shirt. Of a cake. <laughs> Barrett was wearing a shirt that said Big Brother. Right? Oh my. Aww. Yes, that was cute. Imagine you just let him wander around like that until someone notices. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny. Someone wow. just goes, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's not much to say you announced that. it because now she's born. Oh, she's I know so what I could cute. say. That that was when my biggest goal of the year started, mm. which was the to V-back. have a V-back. Mm. Next thing. Emo mashup. Oh, oh my so gosh. Good. This video, Best. to me, needs more views. I agree. Everyone, yeah. please go watch it. It's so good. <gasps> I I, this is one of my favorite covers we ever did. We did a mashup. So what were some of the songs? Um, Ocean Avenue, My Chemical Romance. What were some wait, of the Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Not oh. Okay. I miss you. I miss you. I miss yes, Blink 182. Blink 182. Glory. My Friends Over You. That was a really Made good cover. Mayday Parade. I, lo- I listened to that mm. in my car like a lot. I That's thought it was really so good. good. I love it. And as I was it's saying, it's like fun and emotional. I was saying the other day, I got probably the most positive comments of the whole year for myself personally are in that video. Really? So oh, yeah. thank what? you guys for On, that. Because you, oh, were you got your good truth. comments. Yes. Ooh. I got way more than I normally <gasps> get in that video. Yeah, because you, you were born to rock out. You were, were putting like, out your we intense love her hair. energy. We love her performance. I was like, wow. wow. Thank you. I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That was a really good one. Not okay. It was really fun. Okay, so then one of my fave moments of the whole year. Oh no. Kills me just the same. Oh my god. Okay, this was a long time in the making. Some of you probably a a lot of you watched the episode about it, right? Yeah. It wasn't just the same episode. It took what did it we started on it it last year? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. no, no, no. The May before, I think. And April. then it came out in February. Wait, did you first April, show April. us the thing, April. the in demo April. at the songwriters April. retreat? Okay. April of 2021 was when we first heard the glimmer. Oh, and then it came out in it was February, demo, February of this year. You Woo. know why I know that? Because I posted a photo from the songwriting retreat that you played it for us where Lauren was taking out the trash in the background oh, and it yeah. reached a million people Whoa. of you taking out the trash. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> gonna say. Um, <laughs> okay, that was really exciting because that was our first original in a since, long time. A long time. Wait, was it since, since I am enough? That was twenty twenty. Like oh yeah. wow. wow! Wait, in t- almost two years. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So our goal was to release a lot more originals in twenty twenty two, which we did achieve that goal, as we'll talk about more. But um. That was really exciting because we did like a whole campaign. We did all these TikToks. We did all this stuff. We did the music video. That oh video is so gosh. good. That might have been uh, maybe our best artistic thing of the year. 
All right. And then another big moment that I loved, which was Encanto. Oh, that oh movie my gosh. Is so my gosh. Good. We really put our backs into it. We did. I really liked that, that one. It took so long it to film. It took forever. I remember film. being like, oh my gosh, we're never going to finish this. We're never. Was so good. Though. I really think we killed it with the costumes. Like, I was lighting. Shocked. The set. Who did the set? Me. Ariel Lornemy. When that everyone came incredible. in, I was like, because I'm obsessed with that movie. I've literally watched it all the time to this day. And I was like, everyone actually to looks like day. the characters. Well, I still love it. Yeah, Just I think we did a great job. I still job. haven't seen it, so. Oh, my gosh. Have you guys all seen it? I feel like you would like it. The it's only thing good. is, it's so on the nose. I love Oh, my it. gosh. <laughs> they hate the brother. They are trying to be perfect. <laughs> That's because it's, they're, like, it's for kids. They're making it no, obvious. There's plenty of kids' movies that aren't that obvious. But it's, re- it's really good. It's just a little bit. It is very, yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, the ending is a little... Yeah. Leaves a little to be desired. But it, it's a really good premise. <laughs> it's, it's good. Really <laughs> okay, so next one is Waymaker. Way oh. Miracle Worker. Oh. This right. is um, a really good one. One this of my most a listened heavy to. One. Really? Yeah, because like I listened to it in labor. Guys, I like it to got say, me through labor. when I wrote this on the list, I actually wrote Haymaker. <laughs> Haymaker. <laughs> she punch, did. Punch. This was your idea, right? Yes. This was a very heavy video for me, personally, because this was the song. Wait, when did I hear this song? I don't remember when I first heard it. I don't know how I already knew it, but... Oh, yeah, it was a while ago. But this one was what I listened to the whole time when Chad was in the hospital last December and it was like didn't realize that he like almost died like four times because I only knew that he almost died once that he was literally hanging like halfway over the cliff of death Mm -hmm. and um we were just getting through those like two weeks and we I listened to the song every day in the bathroom because it's hard when you're there and then it's hard when you're at home it's just like you're there stressing out about it and then you're not there and you're like what's happening like literally Mm -hmm. the hospital gives you like a code that you you call for the hospital and then you get their room and then you like tell them the code and I still have it in my bathroom where it's like I remember when I called the ICU at four in the morning I was like I just want to know if he's okay it was so Mm. scary but yeah this song really got me through that especially surgery day so had to cover it it. and didn't know that his cancer was going to come back like two months when did we put this one out? May? Oh, it was like two or three months later. I still had brown hair, so I think it was May. Three months later. <laughs> yeah, very quickly after that, it was relevant again. But now he's okay. For now. Just kidding. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. So Love that was great. very heavy. Yeah. We did. So I guess when you were, no, I guess you were still in. Our mom joined the band video. Oh, yeah. What? Was that, that I was our, that one. No, you were our, in it. Oh, I was? First time what? singing with mom oh. on YouTube, right? <gasps> yeah. yeah. And I do you remember made that. the TikTok. What song did we do again? Kills Me Just the Same. Oh, yeah. Oh. She sang Kills Me Just the Same with us. <gasps> and then people were like, people on Facebook oh, were like, this is such a negative song. Why would you <laughs> sing this with your mother? <laughs> They didn't love hey, it. Hey, our mom loves that song. The boomers I love didn't love getting it. roasted by Facebook users. Oh, it's so Guys, funny. I will say, that, not to be rude or anything, <laughs> boomers are just the kings and queens of toxic positivity. <laughs> <laughs> They're like sad girls cub. I, Shouldn't you be happy? Yes. Man, you're so right. That's I so mean, true. that's not, I'm not lying. Okay. Um, this was an exciting one. So this is, okay, so this is a big moment for me. So I always talk about the Billy Eyelash video from 2021, right? Happier mm-hmm. than oh, ever. Oh, happier than ever, And yeah. that was a big moment for me with like arranging. So I had like, that was it was orchestral. Okay. What? Or is that, that 2020? So cool. No, it, it was, was 2021. 2021. I had orange hair and I'd just given birth. I was on maternity leave. I'd like come back into my own with arranging. So running up that hill was really big for me because. <gasps> running up that hill. I came back into my own with. Producing. And you really did recreate what it they do in the show. Was so okay, this was so hard because um you guys you watch Stranger Things. I love you watch it. it. So oh, they're like I haven't watched it. Like it was I, such yeah. a big moment. I, I was like, oh my it. gosh. She felt all the pressure. There was no you there was, would have loved it. No, I watched the moment at least. No, there, oh, there was so much <laughs> There was so much pressure. I was like having a bit, not really a panic attack, actually, but I was like, see, if you watch the show, you would have felt nothing but love. Yeah. Okay, well, listen to me. So I watched. In terror. On YouTube. <laughs> on no, when you're making the cover, you would have no- nothing but love. Anyway. <laughs> on 
YouTube. I watched the scene, which was terrifying. But then mm. I like got it. I was like, yes. Oh my gosh, oh. it's so big. So then I was like, oh, we gotta make kind of like orchestral. But I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna screw this up. So I was like, so they're trying to make it. I was like, oh, it's bad. It's good. It's bad. It's good. It's bad. It's bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna play from there. They're gonna be like, this is horrible. No, it's so I, good. I hadn't produced anything for us in a long time. And then your demo switched to the internal mic on the computer halfway through. I, li- I listened to it a lot, actually. Amy, <laughs> what? Before we got it. Anyway, it turned out really good. Okay, it's that video, yeah, it's just really everything about it came together. The light, so good. The lighting, flawless. The outfits, flawless. The it arrangement, flawless. Really the oh emotion, over the top. So I really, oh, I love it. It turned version. out really good. That was my other favorite cover. And it birthed there. me as producing again. I don't know. Love to hear <laughs> it. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, Lauren's really happy because she doesn't have to do all of it by herself anymore. Yeah. Mm. So good for her. <laughs> All right, next. Oh, a big moment. We revived an old song. Oh yeah! Every time I started as Amy looks at me like I'm about to say something, like I'm about to read her diary. A big moment. <laughs> Amy was exposed as a war criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Amy will be going to the state penitentiary in December. Say bye bye. <laughs> That's what she looks like I'm gonna say. <laughs> Amy will be joining Jen Shaw. <laughs> just oh wait, you haven't watched that yet. Never mind, never mind, never mind. No. Say it. No, but I heard about it. Oh, you spoiled it! I will... okay, 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 spoil okay, 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 okay. Anyway, 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 anyway. I didn't really spoil it. I was just doing some research. Oh, Stop researching. I know exactly, exactly what you're talking about. Don't actually. research until yeah. you're done. <laughs> All right, so anyway. back to reality. <laughs> so. <laughs> Anyway, ah, Amy's not going girl. to jail. Like Amy went to prison. I no, loved Amy's it. not going to prison. It's a joke. <laughs> I was <laughs> prank, bro. Gonna say Can we resurrected an old demo I had made in uh, I Malibu love this song. when I was like l- younger than Lauren. Yeah, yeah. right now, Do-do-do. younger yeah. than you. Yeah, remember when she was yeah, younger than you? Yeah, you were 22, <laughs> right? 21? Yeah. I'm 24. <gasps> Called You Don't <gasps> Miss so Me old. At All. And I would like to take all the credit for this because it you were like, <laughs> I don't really not get good. it. This song is not that good. And this I was like, so no, bad. trust me. <laughs> it is. Trust me, it's I good. thought it wasn't that good. And I knew it was good because my 14-year-old broken little heart <laughs> Listen mm. to this demo. Okay, Lauren, Lauren used to sneak on the computer <laughs> and listen to all of my demos that I didn't want to play for and everyone. And now I have them all on my computer. Wait, that was Lauren's younger sister version of snooping. Yes. You know, I was like, like dig her through the and Danny used to I go and get all of them. Because they were all so good. Smash it after smash <laughs> Look, it. All I'm saying is that in <laughs> the kidding. year of our Lord, 2023, right. we need to start a inst- uh, TikTok Instagram. Instagram series where we play you our old demos. Yes, oh yes. My gosh. yes, we should sure. yes. because we have so many, and There's then maybe one of them will surprise us and we'll end up making. Yeah. It. Yes, anyway, yes, no. so I'm yes. gonna write that down. Yes. So she was ye of little faith, okay? And I was like, no, trust me. Must let me do. Seen. Let me do a updated track for you, so you can oh. see the vision. And then so we were like, need to stage the house. It's good. It, it was so. so good. Good. I knew it was good. <laughs> So wow. yeah, that was I'm, all me. I'm adding that to our list. <laughs> Thank you. Which is make TikToks of old demos. See, that's why hey, I forgot that we put those two songs out this I year because to, to me, you. I tried. <laughs> guys, if you see the um, billowing curtains, it's just it's because we open the window and we're really, I'm really hot. So just don't yeah. hate on me. Look, okay? the curtains have been eating a lot of bread. They're very <laughs> free. God. Don't worry about them. <laughs> Curtain <laughs> positivity. Yeah. Next. They look great. They do. <laughs> okay, so we released You Don't Miss Me at All. We did the lyric video. We did the acoustic version. Oh, it was so a live good. video. That was, was cool. So good. Because we hadn't done like idea. a live thing like that in a while. I thought that video was so good. It's and so cool. good. Like us I playing. I was like, oh my God. Oh, I, I love that song. That I listen to it. Art. I think it's so good. I think I really, really like it. I still listen to it in the car all the time. I love it. I think I'm going to listen to it a lot in the summer coming up. So we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> what? Next one. <gasps> Gyra. Gyra. This one didn't get enough at all views. Okay, wait. For people that are like, what the heck is Gyra? Gyra is, is a word from the Bible that apparently means something along the lines of the Lord will provide. The Lord it's will Christian provide. Song. Love it. It's so, so good. The original, again, yeah. another song where I was like, we have to cover this one because it got me through the hospital. This one came out like 
the weekend that Chad was back in the hospital, I remember. Oof. I was like, <gasps> oh, really? It was so weird. Yeah, it was very weird timing with that, where I remember posting like, oh, this cover just came out, and now here we are. I had no clue this That's was going crazy. to happen. It's so good. Guess who's back? Yeah, you were so. like, you were like, we need to do this song. So this is also so good. the second song I listened I to in labor. The best part of it is how... Lisa added ad libs in after we filmed the video, so there's all this stuff. We're like, ah, I know that she's not singing in the I video. I heard it, and I was like, like Oh my gosh, part. I've made a mistake. I need to put these in. I was like, Who cares? It's worth it. I didn't realize he was going to do just a wide laughed. shot panning across For some everyone. Reason, I didn't like, notice oh. that. Yeah, it's good. worth See, it. No one knew. I no one knew. Funny. I will say our Christian covers this year were really living. Those two, they were they very really like soulful. So good. They, they were great. great. Probably some of our best. Probably our best. I would say. So then I went on to achieve my goal of the year. <laughs> so then I gave birth and had a V-back, <clears throat> no epidural and a 10 pound baby. Biggest Whoa. accomplishment of my life, maybe. So that was exciting. Best thing ever. Best moment ever. So exciting. And then I was out for a quick seven weeks. That was pretty quick. I was yeah, out before was for a couple weeks. Yeah, we were like, we started a band. We it's had like sucks. two months. Well, we could, I guess we could talk about that since she's out. We She's started out. the band. So Lisa done, was, done, done. I was, I was on hospital, hospital leave. And Christina had just given birth. So then it was just us, us three. Us whips and wings. And we like, all came oh in. Oh my gosh. Qu- well, they came in quivering. Because <laughs> of what happened like, last year. We've oh never no. been the big Unexpectedly, kids. we don't have Lisa. And we only have three. And apparently when I was gone and Lisa was gone. We were doggy paddling in the three. toilet. Oh they called God. it their doggy paddling in the toilet era. <gasps> That's what we were doing. So we were having I was like, issue. no, we are not doggy paddling in the toilet. And I was like, <laughs> good for <laughs> you. Kendrick made us I was thrive. like, we're going to take this as an opportunity to grow. <laughs> yes. And I will say we did a great job. We, we did, did an amazing <laughs> job. Hey, wait, that video of starting a new band got a lot of views. I it know. Did. And I was like. That was my I idea. I literally. I thought Ooh. that was mine. Yeah. I was, like, you I was just thinking, that. wasn't that was my idea? Right the video, my idea to title it. <laughs> Oh, all right. I thought it was my idea. Okay, because I remember being before we put it out. I was like, "Is this title dumb? Like, does this like mean anything? Is anyone gonna watch this?" And then we're like, "Oh, I guess." And then we only have like, one <laughs> video as a new band. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you thought I'd be. Well, we were gonna have heat waves too, but then because that one we did a lot. Of okay, the stuff. yeah, they tried to do my favorite song behind my back without okay. me. Well, so you then, had, went off and had a child without us. So then, you know? I'm just waiting for you guys to get over that song. You've you're like we should do it. 50 he different ways. I we only did it 90 once. times. You did the, the sing off over it. I will never we get did the over cover it. Of it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, it's times. Yeah. <laughs> they, so they played this whole song without me. And then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm doing this. So I came back and recorded over maybe someone else's part. You like split it up to yeah. have me in it. I was like, I'm adding into this song now. And it was such a good version. I loved it. I love our version. Yeah, that like, was our folk era. Me yeah. and Stacath. Listen, so me in the hospital, I was watching this from afar. And when you guys put that cover out, not that I care about that song, but I was like, oh I saw the gosh. setup and I had to click. That was oh, my idea. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yes, I was like, that whoa, was my whoa, dream whoa. vision. Because bef- the first time was on, when I was on maternity leave, I could feel the doggy paddling in the toilet energy. <laughs> This time I was like, whoa, whoa, they're rising. They're rising. I know, you could feel there it. There was a three vibe. Guys in a dream. There was yeah. a vibe. Because, because. because you did new things and it was like, oh. <gasps> Kath yeah. brought us in and she was like, who is your true son? Wait, you're yeah. right. What because you Catherine's do? leadership. I noticed grows. that too. I noticed that too because I was like, oh no, Lisa's out and I'm out. What are they going to do? These guys suck. (laughs) Because I thought they were going to panic, which apparently they did panic. We panicked. I will say, look, our YouTube channel just becomes them live streaming 24 7. I was not <laughs> panicked. I was nervous. Okay, not I was first. panicked. She was nervous. And then Kath bringing the positivity mm. really yeah. gave me the wind beneath my you could wings feel it. to lead us to See? victory. See, Catherine yeah. Rose. And I will say that true. I I don't know what what was it that me what was it of me that rose was it producer Kath or was it. Your Your director. Director. Produ- par- uh, what did I help with a lot in this Encourager. song? Like vibe, Kath. Like you just well, gave us like, oh, let's do like, like, let's do a banjo. Yeah. Oh, let's like, like, like there was one part in the heat waves where, where, I, where we were talking and it was in, yeah. Yeah. and I was like, this is a cool vibe of, of us talking in the background of the yeah. vocals. Let's keep that in. Wow. And then you're going to be like, oh, we broke up. I think I need to move so to the city. So then I went this whole monologue about a breakup and very quietly in the background of heat waves. Of the bridge, yeah. It was 
It was some art. We need yeah, some new energy. Kath is like an indie god. She's yeah. so yeah. artsy. An indie queen. She loves indie music. Yeah. So she had all these indie ideas. I'm basically just a bat in the closet mo- most of the time. Because <laughs> like, I feel like our band is more pop. That's just who we are. And I love pop. That a was my number one genre. in the <laughs> closet? <laughs> Wait, let me explain She's that. Like, but my true soul is an indie alternative fan who's just sitting in the closet and used to go to all these indie alternative I'm shows so- in LA. And I just vibe by myself, but mm. I came out for a moment. Well, should that. we do more of that? We should. Well, I yes. don't know. Everyone yes. likes that. No, no, no. no, no. So just, I do. Just the I new energy it. of like the new setting and the new style. Yes, more of that. It was please, girl please, band. Please. It was girl yeah, band. Yeah, we so had good. a lot of, yeah, we did a Pinterest board. We really did feel like we are starting We talked about band. our true selves. So yeah. I think you should bring out your creative director self a lot more in 2023. Yeah, yeah. Kath, rise. We got to refer to old Kath. Yeah. Bring the energy that you I would love to. I would love to. Give, bring the ideas. Can, bring the action. I think I have to move to a new city. That was the most iconic thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I was just riffing. Oh, she's like, I was dead dead for serious. five years. Also, and now I don't like up. that. I don't like that song, but that was the one that I liked the most. That version. Oh, so wow. good. I was like, you know what? It's not because horrible. we were like, we were real, we were like, this is such an emotional song. It is. Yeah. And the, you know, I think the version is cool with the glass animals, but it doesn't sound as sad as it really is. That's the, the lyrics part. are sad. So we made, we made it be sad. I love it. Anyway, okay. it's really cool that Lisa and I both noticed the energy and now your tongue's behind the scenes because I noticed the same thing and I was like, whoa, they're wow. not doggy paddling in the toilet. They were we swimming. Had there was no toilet strokes. in sight. Wow, it's crazy how it comes through. Okay, we so. We were backstroking. They were backstroking we're in with the, the sunshine. Yes. Okay. Our next big moment <laughs> of the year was we did the toxic purity culture video. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. That we were, was so I scary. I was so nervous. I was like, we're going to get so much hate. Let me give you the outside perspective again because <laughs> I'm <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> I'm like recovering from adrenal fatigue. I'm on the couch. I'm to- so far removed at this point. <laughs> And I see the group chat going off and they're like, she's like, oh, which thumbnail do you think looks best? No context. And Lauren's like, <laughs> I was like, what is this video? And then, Kat, wait, someone said something about, can we say <laughs> something? S-A. S-A. But I said the or actual word. the corn word. <laughs> yes. And I was like, why do you need to know that? What did you film? And I was like, guys, guys. You're off the rails. What is going on? <laughs> and then they're like, oh, this is the title, blah, blah. I was like, oh my gosh. It was shocking. Why did we, I think you had that idea. What, why did you think of that? What was the inspiration? I, don't know. <laughs> I think like, you just no, said we know. need to talk about oh, it. Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. I was scrolling my phone in the middle of the night, and then I found this old picture of myself where I was talking about wearing a one piece swimsuit. And then oh. I was having a discussion on modesty. Um, Wait, you found a picture of yourself having a discussion? What are you talking about? I was having a discussion <laughs> in, the, in the comments. Oh, oh you oh, shot it. You oh, shot it. You I found an old post. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me Not rewind. Not camera roll. I was going through my Instagram okay, and I was okay. thinking, I used to talk, I, I was like, what? Did, I used to do like more captions than I do now. I want to see mm. what my old captions. So then I got to one of my old captions that was about, kind of about modesty. And once, and... um. Not what you think, probably. Just saying. Not, probably not what you think. You can go read it if you want. You have to scroll back. But it's probably not what you think. So don't just put... I just hate when people put things on you, you know, when you didn't say them. So it's not, probably not what you thought I was going to say about modesty. But anyway, so I was talking about modesty and um, at, um, responding to comments and stuff. And I was like, I used to put my thoughts out there and like voice my opinion. And then I stopped. Why did I stop? And then Why I was I like, stop? we need to talk about stuff. So then I was like, what should we talk about? And I was like... <gasps> Toxic purity mm. cultures. And I was like, guys, we got to do this. And then Amy was shaking in her boots. I was, I was in my soul. And, was like, and then it. one of Christina's notes was zoom in more on me in the beginning because Amy looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, Amy was like, ah, in I was the like, beginning. Why, of the video. why? But I, I will say I'm very proud of how it turned out. And I thought that it had a really great conversation that was facilitated. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the comments were really powerful. They were really powerful. It had yeah. a really great impact, especially on S. A survivors oh, is what I'm I so saw. happy. Yeah. That was honestly, I was so afraid we were going to offend, like, especially people that have been like experienced that. I was really afraid and I'm happy that they felt like seen and validated yes. instead of like shut down. It we went like, so well. I'm just really yeah. proud of that. that so was anyway, a, that was a great video. In in yeah. the 2023, I want to do a lot more voicing our opinions on things and showing uh, people you can't just automatically know what someone thinks. You gotta <laughs> give them a chance to tell you what truth. they think. Just saying. Okay, that so honest, Amy was just jumping out. Anyway, jumping. I out. loved it. A huge moment of the year 
was when we sang with our, well, when our mom sang with us and did her first leads and her first piano playing. But oh, the first yeah. one, first video was she was playing, just playing and we were singing. Yeah, I was looking back. I was thinking this oh, is like Ave Maria. This yes. is like our mom's year. Our mom like joined the band this year. Oh, it She's in was. like so many videos. She was a special guest. For she sure. Really yeah. So our mom did two two piano videos with us where mm-hmm. she played piano. And a thousand miles on Spotify. Mm, love it. Yeah, love we it. did Ave Maria, which was really cool, and then she recorded oh, and did piano. Also, miles. On wait, we should have done a, her own Spotify page featuring Lindsay. Oh Lindsay. my god, she would love I that. She missed the opportunity. That. Well, well, we can we do, can do more in the new year. That. We got to yeah. get Mama Spotify. And page. did you say the piano course? <laughs> she can record piano stuff and put it up. Oh, that would be cool. She's a classical cool. musician. Oh, yeah. So the reason we did that was because we made a piano course with her. So I was like, we need to have some videos with her playing piano on our YouTube, which is like, why did we not think of this earlier? And if you guys want to learn to play the piano, you should check out our piano course. It's, it's really awesome. Good. Our mom is awesome. She taught all of us to play piano. She developed her own method. And in the video, it's like a bunch of videos, like 10 lessons. And we're in the videos learning from our mom. So it's you in, check it out. It's on our website, um, simmerallymusic.com. If you go to the courses, it's the only course. So then, of course, of course, of course. we had our top songs. Oh, top oh, songs. It's a big moment for Lauren because she broke her foot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> top songs we did for the first time at our home studio. Yes, we did something new. And it new. was so much easier Okay, so yeah, we used to for... yeah we used to always film at this like outside studio, and then this was our first year. I actually yeah. think it looked better. We had to yeah. like more professional because we had so much more the, time. The other, other years studio. we had to load everything in, which was a million things, set everything up, oh. and do all that stuff in literally like five. We had like what five hours to do all of that and get out. So it was a lot. This was way better. Yeah, I was stressed. <laughs> I was like, is this gonna look ugly? Like, no, it looks oh, it so good. Cool. So no, no, but it actually really good. turned out so good. Oh yeah, Lauren. Was- was majorly doubting it, and I yeah, had to keep saying, I no, was. We're gonna do this. Yeah, we elevated like, the lunch. sure. Because the, the green screen was everything, and the lights. Amy, the I color, the cardboard <laughs> plane. Ariel really, really Who? jumped out for that Guys, video. I didn't know there was gonna be a green screen until I watched it, and then I was, was like, great. "Wait, what?" <laughs> What did, you Pablo? Think, what did you think I those we X's were just, on the I wall I thought we were, were memeing. I didn't see the X's. Oh, okay. I thought we were just making a meme. No. Mm. Of me Ariel holding a hook, steering wheel. really, really did her best on this song. Yeah, she shout like, out to Ariel. She did so much behind the scenes. She made the cardboard car that Christina has <laughs> sunroofs in. That yeah. was a nice Wait. plane. I just realized... Did I miss? You skipped move you on. You skipped move on. on. I was going to yeah, say. I was going to say. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> guys. I skipped. So our, we did three original songs this year. Our third original song Which release. Which is a, what is that? <sighs> it's a remake. A 300% increase from zero last oh. year. I was going to say move on is a re- Version. Wait, a renewed version. A renewed version. <laughs> a, renewed version. <laughs> a renewed version. A song that came out many a years ago. ago. Another Acoustic 2014? version. 2014? Another amazing original release that I was really Which excited about. Which is why we about. got to put our demos on TikTok so you can force Christina to let us release them. Yeah, yeah. I guess. That was really exciting. Um, that's like, okay, so as we're recapping the whole year, so that is the most exciting thing that we did three originals when it was our goal. But yeah. in 2023, um, really need to go for it. Yeah, we have really some. Need to. I think we just need to spam TikTok with originals and then pick from there. I just want to celebrate that I feel like 2022 was like a big year of range for us. Yeah. It feels like we did a big variety of videos and like just very different things like the indie stuff that we kind of did, like doing it with our mom, like having our mom in some of the videos. Um, I know we've done Christian ones before, but I don't know. There's something about these ones that just felt a little different. Maybe they're more more gospelly, yes. soulful. Just like so felt like good. we had, oh, and the we emo. So that's many very new things. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we really um, were experimental this we year. We were planting yeah. seeds, and next year we're gonna reap the harvest. Yes. Also, I would like to shout out the return of Lisa's iconic pixie cut this year. Oh my yeah. gosh. That was, that was a big moment. moment. Welcome back. It wasn't as big of a moment as the first one because I already done it before, but it was it was. I was kind of like, Bleh. I think I was trying to feel something. It was confusing yeah. you know to what? me. That's okay. It was That's so cool. confusing seeing her looking like a different year. I was like, wait a minute. Well, now I see photos. I used to see photos of myself with the blonde pixie and be like, whoa, I can't believe my hair looked like that. And now I see them and go, oh, wait, that was five years ago. That wasn't a month ago. <sighs> it's so weird. That is weird. Very confusing to my brain. I get that. So going into 2023, the new year. New me. I okay. So last Everyone year, everyone needs to watch that. We should do more original um, oh, theatrical productions. Yes, in twenty twenty three. Anyway, 
I know. I just keep thinking about the comments where you guys are like, stop talking to each other. So I'm like, we're trying, we're trying. But anyway, so going into this year, I was reading, I was reading our goals from 2022 and it was like making original music like our biggest thing, which we definitely didn't accomplish that. And I realized because I didn't really commit to it. Mm. So this year, I actually want to commit to it. Mm. I like really, but we improve. Love it. Really want to commit. We to are hundred percent swinging January first. TikTok. Basically, we original made, TikTok. We made original. yeah, original. we made progress. But I was like, we can't just make a little progress on it this year. No, no, no. We need to like go for it this well, year. We found our jumping off point. We need to go for it. This year, because I was I'm like, excited. if that was our goal, then why did I not even spend any time on it many weeks of well, the year? Well, you were pregnant. No, of the mm-hmm. year. Why did I go? Our goal is original music. Therefore, this week, I'm not going to actually put any time into it. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make sense. So I was like, this year, I have to actually make sure we put time into it every week. Mm-hmm. That's what I realized as I was thinking about the year. I'm like, if you have a goal, you have to actually make time for it every week. Mm-hmm. I didn't think of that. So now so. I thought of it. So that's what we're going to do this year. Love we have a goal. It. We're actually going to put time into it Yay! every week. I love it. Love that idea or love that idea. Love that also, idea. Also, you guys should comment what you want to see from us in 2023. I'm curious. Yeah. What did you guys like from 2022 and what were you like? Mm, I want more of this next year. Okay, guys. Now we're wrapping up that and Thank moving on to Sister Spotlight. Thank you for reviewing with us. Mm-hmm. Overall, what would you say overall? What's your last, well, last word? Overall, the year was? Action-packed. Fast. Transitory. Full. You? Didn't you didn't say one. <laughs> Come on. Oh my. New, okay, we did a lot of new things. That new. wasn't one word. We did a lot of new Experimental. things. Experimental. Experimental. And that is what I'm happy about. Now we're just going to put the pedal to the metal Can't in wait. 2023. I'm ready to go for it. Like, I'm scared. <laughs> hi-ya, hi-ya, hi-ya. That's the year. All right, so let's go. All Moving right. on to oh. Sister Spotlight, where a different sister gets a spotlight every week. It's. Okay, real with Christina, Sappy Sassy, that's with Kath, Lisa's Corner, Amy's Current Crisis, and Lord's Take. And this week, the sister is... Ding! Woo! So, I have a saga to bring to you guys. (sighs) Do tell. (sighs) Okay. So, basically, I have an issue. And the issue is that I can't keep a debit card to save my life. What? <laughs> Are a you kidding debit me? card. A debit card? Yes. Who okay. uses debit card? I never use my debit card, Basically, ever. I have a fear of using my credit card, so I always use my debit <gasps> card. Um, I've had the same debit card for a long, 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 long time, right? But then... I got a new band credit card and it made me panic and think that for some reason my band credit card and my debit card had the same expiration date. They do not. I just was like panicked. So then I reordered it. So I got a new one, okay? And I used this Wait, debit card. Oh, you don't want them to have the same date because you don't want them to No, I go thought out. for some reason they had the same date. Why? So she thought one was expired when it actually wasn't. Just the other one was expired. Oh. Yeah. So I had okay. to redo. Well, I reordered it for some reason. Okay. So then. I reorder the debit card and it comes and I think I used it like three times and then vanished. <gasps> vanished, vanished. Her vanished. debit oh my card. Gosh, my debit Amy, card. so bad. Gone in the universe. But I, this has happened to me many times and I always just check my bank account like every two days to make sure no one's stealing my money and no one ever is. So I always am like, it's I left like it in a jacket. your bed or something. One time I left a credit card in a jacket for a whole year. <laughs> Oh, like gosh. I literally found it and I was like oh there's my credit card wow wow doesn't matter you wouldn't have used it weirdo so then cause it makes me stressed you're like anyway. I'm gonna buy a yacht on my credit <laughs> you'll never no. pay it off <laughs> and then so it comes right the new one or that one's vanished right it lost it like a three three weeks a month ago and then I was like okay the last place it was at this gas station so I go to the gas station I'm like hey is my debit card here and they're like, let me look at our stack of cards. Because apparently everyone loses their, cars, their cards at the gas station. I've done that. Wait, like they just put it in the thing? They and have then, it in the safe. Or like I've left it like on top of the pump before. Like drop it or something? Yeah. yeah. Wow. How do you reach that high? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, my so gosh. So then he brings it out from the safe that's below the counter. It's not there. Uh. And so weeks go by. I order a new one. Okay? And... Lo and behold, I use it one time and it's gone again. Oh, <laughs> it's no. vanished. And I literally I noticed it was missing yesterday when I went to buy something and I was like, You lost I've it used this yesterday. card one time. <laughs> now it's gone. I looked at the overall results. <laughs> like, I was like, So then while I was going through my purse to find this card, I found the other one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, who could know where this debit card is? <laughs> oh my god! Not surely. Wait, not but I. the other one doesn't work. Yeah, right? so I have oh two god. old debit cards in my room that don't work, <laughs> <laughs> and one somewhere in the ancient mystic trinity. Amy, <laughs> how are you going to buy things? <laughs> Apple Pay. Need your credit card. Uh, Need your credit card. Yeah, and just making that huge um, transfer from my say uh, my uh, checkings to my credit card gives me anxiety. But you you would spend the same amount <laughs> yes. with oh, a debit card. It just gives me less anxiety. I don't know why. <sighs> so basically, who could know where my debit card is? If you find it, please don't spend my money. <laughs> I mean, wow. I feel like you just need like a wad of cash, just ready no, to go. No, I'd lose that. Yeah, yeah, and then now our money's just gone. I wonder- certain things in this world I cannot keep, and one or of them maybe is maybe like debit something that you cards. could attach to your card that wouldn't damage it, like a you have to just a paperweight. Oh, back in oh your wallet. wait, no. there's these Amy. There's these men's wallets. It's just like it's basically like a card holder, and they have like GPS on them. That's oh. what you always put it in that. Oh, oh I could do well, that. Well, I think I the thing do is like she thing. she won't put it in her wallet. Uh, maybe I need one of these. This is so great. I love it because but, but if you drop it, your th- stuff goes flying everywhere, right? No. And then you just Sometimes. Right. I drop my phone a lot, though, but that would probably help Wild. me. So, yeah. Who could know where my debit card is? Wow. Don't send my money if you Wonderful. find it. Thank you. If you find a credit card that says <laughs> Amy E. Morelli. Yeah. Oh, that was another thing. When I first got my credit card, uh, I got a bank account. They put my last name on mm-hmm. as Morelli, missing the first two letters. So, my <laughs> card... My account got mixed up. Like my credit, whatever the credit score account is, got mixed up with someone named Amy E. Morelli. And I had a 500 credit score. But I had never used a credit card before. So I had to use like a probationary credit card you can do like 10, like 100 bucks a month on until I earned the right to have a credit card. I had to call, what is it, Equifax or whatever, and be like, this is not me. I mean, Please I think them all. I think someone put a credit card curse on you, honestly. Yeah, yeah. I agree. That's wild. There, there's just too many things for it to be so coincidence. We <laughs> 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 do. <laughs> I and I used to call it my sinner card. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> my sinner card. That's like our dad would say. Obviously. They wouldn't let me have a real card. Because I had a 500 card. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we got to end this. Yeah, Thank you for yeah. joining us. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. I didn't even tell them to go to Patreon. Wow. Go to Patreon. Bye. We love you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Love you, guys. Thanks for watching. You've been listening to the Cimarelli Podcast. Follow Cimarelli on Spotify and subscribe on YouTube. You can also find Cimarelli on Facebook and Instagram.